Hello friend, this is Surya Pati. Let us talk as per HANA 18th in group reporting. And today's topic is currency translation in group reporting. And this in this slide, you can see the various object and the configuration steps to achieve the currency translation in group reporting. So step one, the first three steps, the exchange rate, exchange translation ratios and exchange rate type these are the very common in ECC and once we created these three steps then we will assign the exchange rate type to exchange rate indicator and the first exchange rate version and these two objects are dependent on the dimension which is called uh, which consists of consolidation chart up account version and the period the exchange rate indicator is assigned to translation method along with the data transfer method the data transfer method which controls basically what type of data whether it is a closing data or whether uh, whether it is a um, periodical data and where the exchange rate will be applied and to the translation method, we also assign selection. Selection is a in ERP, it is a set which selects various objects that is um, FS item, the FS item to be included for the translation. And the translation method, when you define a consolidation unit, we assign the translation method to the consolidation units. So that's why when you run the currency translation in either in the local reporting or in the group reporting uh, monitors and based on the consolidation units, uh, it selects what translation method to be used and what exchange rate to be used and how many, what are the rate and, and exchange rates to be used for which period, for which person, and for which consolidation chart up account. I hope this gives a very good high level overview of currency translation in group reporting. If you like this video, subscribe my YouTube channel and also leave your comment if you have any. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.